There is a park that bears her name, but Riley Fox's parents no longer live in the small community of Wilmington. They've left the town, but the town hasn't forgotten them. I really don't think that it should have, like, he should have got any money at all just because, the, you know, the mystery's unsolved still and we don't know what really happened. How they did him, they did it wrong. Kevin and Melissa Fox were all smiles following the $15 million verdict. They call it vindication. It was uh, 10 people on the jury and they found that I wasn't in the wrong, that, that I did everything right. Three-year-old Riley Fox was taken from her home in the middle of the night. She was sexually assaulted, then dumped in a nearby river. A few months later, after an all-night interrogation, police and prosecutors gathered to announce Kevin Fox had confessed. These detectives, I, I want to say, and it's their instincts, their instincts, their, their investigative instincts that led to this statement coming down. Kevin Fox claims the cops fabricated evidence, threatened him with jail rape, and promised he'd go free if he confessed. He did, but quickly recanted. Fox sat in jail for eight months until his attorney demanded DNA tests that set Fox free. Today, a jury decided the Will County Sheriff's investigators crossed way over the line. They have sent a message to Will County, and I hope Will County is listening, because this kind of behavior needs to stop. All of the detectives, except for one who died, remain on the job. The current Will County State's Attorney released a statement saying, It has always been our contention that the sheriff's deputies acted properly during the interview of Kevin Fox and that they had probable cause to arrest him. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.